I was born in late 1979, and uh, basically many of my first memories are with the farm and also riding on the back of the tractor with American flags uh, through the early 80s as, as uh, my family, uh, as well as many farm families across Nebraska and the Midwest were concerned about what was going on in the farm crisis. And uh, so from an early age, you know, saw what uh, concentration in the agricultural marketplace was, was doing to independent business owners and family farmers and ranchers across the state of Nebraska. Uh, so I think that growing up, I always was very cognizant of, of some of the issues that, that independent business, rural business people and farmers and ranchers, uh, you know, face. And uh, as, I, as I grew up and got older, I, I, um, as I, and as I was going through school, my family was very active in protecting the, the family farmer and rancher. And so uh, we would go on our family vacations uh, uh, to Washington, D.C. On, on our own dime to try to lobby uh, for farmers, family farm agriculture and ranchers. And we'd go to conventions. And my dad was actually a nationally elected uh, president um, of, of an ag organization that was going to bat for the, the family farmer and rancher. Um, going into out of high school and into college uh, where we were always active on our family farm. Uh, our family has farmed in, in the same spot, the same place we homesteaded in 1867, the year that um, Nebraska uh, went from a territory to a state. And uh, our family has you know, taken care of and uh, maintain our family farm uh, ever since. And so our family has a great pride in, in, in uh, family farm and, and independently owned agriculture, a uh, plan that even my brother and I have vowed uh, to carry on. Uh, my brother and I plan to keep the farm and the family for the rest of our lives. Uh, out of, uh, this was entrenched at us from a, a very early age. It was a way of life. Uh, how, uh, after high school, I went into college and became a journalism major. I was always decent at English and, and grammatical stuff, and so I, I studied journalism along with a little social sciences and, and got a degree uh, where um, I soon actually found my place in a little different role than what I anticipated, and it was working in, in agricultural financing for a, a, a national lender um, that was working to help you know farmers make sure their equipment was financed. Uh, but, however, eventually I wanted to get more into public service, kind of into the roles that, uh, you know, uh, my family had brought me along with uh, as, I was, as I was growing up. And so I became involved in elections and campaigns uh, to uh, better understand how the process worked in Nebraska, um, but, but also to try to learn stuff that would help me be able to give back to the state that I love, which is Nebraska, and uh, also, also rural people um, and, and the rural way of life. Uh, after working in um, 2006 on an election, I knew that I wanted to get more involved in helping bring new markets into rural communities because uh, we had been struggling for so many years. And so at, at that point, um, I went and talked to the Nebraska Farmers Union and, uh, and where I worked for over seven years um, with an emphasis on renewable energy deployment in rural areas to deal with climate change. This is having farmers be the answer to climate change instead of uh, you know, creating new markets and, and doing the right thing, um, saving water, uh, you know, all those good things. Uh, I wanted to get involved with that, but also got a great education on what was going on uh, as far as competition in the marketplace, uh, where I'd soon uh, got an extensive education on, on how close the meatpacking industry is, for example, to monopolization, uh, how, how much independence is taken away from the family farmer. And I started to put the pieces together um, that I had witnessed growing up um, on the farm uh, and, and going through these you know, uh, um, farm crisis rallies and, and uh, the tractor cades that were, that were moving through all our little towns to uh, basically fight for our way of life. Uh, after seven years at the Nebraska Farmers Union, um, I felt a calling uh, to help out a, somebody who has been a, um, an advocate and uh, workhorse for rural Nebraska. Um, uh, I, went, I went and I left the Farmers Union to help uh, Dave Domina uh, run his U.S. Senate campaign. Uh, he's been another person that's been on 
uh, the side of the family farmer uh, in dealing with um, mega multinational companies coming into the state and um, uh, really forcing the farmers into a place where they are in a non-competitive uh, position. During that time with the Domina uh, campaign, I, I learned a lot more about uh, the election and political process, and it, it helped me also um, get a different perspective of our state, uh, which, which I think was, was very helpful for myself. But um, I also, during that time, uh, really wanted to further what my education had been um, from some of my other work experiences and I wanted to uh, take that and apply that even more to rural areas, particularly uh, to the state in general, but, but rural areas particularly. And so I started a business uh, called GC Resolve in which the focus is community development, taking every little win that we can right at the grassroots on the ground level and trying to open up more markets, more opportunities for uh, people of all kinds. But always keeping in mind the people that uh, I grew up with and that's the people in, in rural Nebraska. And so uh, uh, at GC Resolve, um, the company that I started, we were able to start getting into more solar development uh, and have been laying out farm applications uh, so farmers can be able to save money on their energy bills as a lot of times farmers are, are you know, in intensive energy users. And uh, then also continuing to do um, some of the uh, assistance in helping communities deal with issues that can sometimes be overwhelming um, as, as most folks have um, not seen a lot of uh, the movement of vertical integration up close and personal. The organizing part of what I've done over the years going back before uh, Farmers Union um, I think has uh, uh, a lot of a lot of opportunities have come up by chance, and and so um, I have had a chance to work uh, and learn how to do rural organizing through experiences with landowners who felt they were getting abused on on the Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, they would reach out to us and ask for help um, for education on certain things, and uh, obviously we were able to make a, a large impact for our people uh, that would be affected directly on the ground level. I've helped organize uh, issues to get more renewable energy into uh, various communities outside of the contracting business that I'm doing now and um, continue to work with communities um, that just want to preserve their quality of life, uh, want to see their rural community you know, thrive and, and um, uh, be a place where their, their kids and, and families can continue to grow up and, um, and so therefore that is uh, one of the reasons that um, I, am, I am here with, the, with my friends and neighbors um, uh, working on the project Rawhide uh, issue as we speak.